Hey guys, Plum Fan here with Doggy Dog. Right here, as you can see. Right here. What are we doing here? I'm just doing a thoughts video, guys, today. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube since, a lot more YouTube since I've not been very well. And um, since everything's happened recently, if you've not seen that video, you can check it out in one of the corners if you like. Or if I remember to put it up there. And it got me thinking, a lot of people keep saying about long wolves are good as dead, basically. And um, saying that they won't survive during tough times. And everything like that. But it just got me thinking. And this is something I don't really want to think about. I don't like to think about. A lot of. But how are we? Every single person, every single video I have watched on YouTube, 99% of them I reckon, but it is in the middle of every video, when they go, this is my battle pack, this is my survival pack, this is my kit. Yeah, but they show what they've got in their bags, yeah. But they never show what extras they're going to carry for their team. And if you're in a team or a group, surely you're going to have certain jobs. Like a builder. So you're going to carry extra, say, blades. Or, I don't know. A fire person who does the fire, so you're going to carry a bigger fire kit, or you're going to carry a massive first aid kit because you're the medical person in that group. But I don't see that. All I see is what people carry for themselves. And yeah, I think it's a good thing. I get that. I think everybody should have exactly. I think everybody should have their own kit. Don't get me wrong. But surely, if you're in a group, you're going to carry extras. Like, I know a lot of people kick off about the amount of power cord I carry. I know I carry my rucksack this morning time. Roughly, maybe... Three, three, four hundred feet, roughly, in my rucksack this morning time. Roughly, I think it is. But that's just for me. Because I do class myself as a long wolf, I know I've got the dog, I know people say I'm a potato head, but yeah, but 99% of the time, I know it would just be me and her, and then when anything happens to her, I know it's just going to be me. So I do like to make sure I've got enough stuff. But when I, if I was in a group, I would carry a specialised piece of kit the group but you don't see that like husband and wife and kids yeah I can see specialised kit in them yeah I can see that I can but say six full on grown men but not one of them is carrying extras for the group sorry about that that's the thing, I just don't understand. So, yeah, give me a second, guys, sorry. That's the thing, I just don't understand. I don't understand how they call themselves a team or group or a prepper group and everything is. To me, I think everybody, apart from family groups, I'm not saying family groups are not, but we're all going to argue. Even in a family group, we're still going to argue. And even in a massive group of, say, 20 or 30 people, you're still going to get that odd person who's not going to do nothing. That odd person is going to get everybody angry. And that's when it's going to make the group go split. So are you prepared? And my, this is my question now. Are you prepared? For a group setting 
where you'd have more likely say it's say three four days down the line it gets worse and worse and worse and worse and then it just explodes but you cannot stay in that group any longer are you prepared to leave that group i'm happy to walk into group work with them then walk away then walk into another group work with that group, group then walk away i'm not happy this moment of time to set myself up in a group where i know People are just going to argue. It's just human nature. One person can upset the whole group, or a, or a couple could just upset the whole group, and then the whole group can just hey, this is this um disconnect. You could be a you could be friends for 20, 30 years, but one small thing can happen, and then you could split. And yeah, I've seen it happen quite a few times on certain things. So my thing is this, guys. Everybody says lone wolves are good as dead. Prepare yourself as a lone wolf. Yeah, you got young kids and finger and a wife. Prepare your kids, knowing that it could just be them. Not young kids. I'm not saying that. A bit of a real thing happened, like what's going on this morning time. You see a lot of nasty people, but then again, you see a lot of good people. It works both ways. But at the moment, in this, at the moment where I live, you see a lot more nasty people. Than what you do see good. You're always going to see more nasty people, in my opinion, than good people. So it's time to get organised, it's time to get prepared, and it's time to think. And we've got all got to start thinking that if we're working in a group, we need to make sure we have things for that group, not just go, this is my kit, or, or, I'm, or I've got a wife and two kids, and this is my kid. They, they got their own. Yeah, but then carry extras. If you're going to be in a group, you're going to be in a family group, Carry extras. Carry some extra bow saw blades. I have two of these in my bag and I have these three set. So if I need to grab these, I can grab these and go. I'm not running out the door just because, ooh, I'm gonna go. It's just extras. It don't have to be something stupidly big. It don't have to be, say, a whole new fire kit. It don't have to be, say, Seven or eight forwards. Yeah. You just have to get organised for this group. Yeah. You could have a person who turns up in your group and they might not have nothing whatsoever because that's the way they are. But then you might have someone in the group who might be carrying more than what they need. But then the group will say, we share. Everything what you've got is mine. What you I've got is yours. Oh, I haven't got a fair one. I'm having that one. And that's the thing I don't like about groups as well. I know that's going to happen. And you see it in so many type of things, situations. And as I said, I know a lot of people say long wolves are good as dead. I know I keep saying that. But we're not. We have to think three steps ahead. So I'm doing it there because it's coming over. It's over nine minutes. It's coming up nine and a half minutes, and I don't really think this video is actually going to be. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching, and um, please give a thumbs up if you can. If you didn't like the video, please put the thumbs down. Please. Join us here on YouTube and on Instagram and Facebook at Plumber Fans. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all of your support and we'll see you soon.